Hi there, Lysandra here, your esthetician and beauty consultant. I'm doing a little video today just because I grabbed these five pack of masks from Lap Coast and kind of thought if I weren't an esthetician or big on skincare in general, would I really know what these ingredients on the front of these masks mean? Maybe, maybe not. So to get a little bit more familiar, you a little bit more familiar with it, I thought I'd talk about the skincare ingredients and what they do and the purpose of what's on the front of these masks and help you identify what they do a little bit better. So here I am doing a video on it, and here I go. Okay, so the first mask, hyaluronic acid, acid <laughs> is what that is. A big buzzword these days, a uh, really big ingredient in a lot of skincare products um, and makeup as well right, you know, right now. Um, so hyaluronic acid, called also abbreviated HA, mimics the natural water in our skin. So basically it's making our skin not just moisturizing as it says here, but hydrating. So you're a lot more hydrated, you're a lot more plump, your hydration is gonna last longer throughout the day. Um, it's really great for drier skin, definitely, of course, but it's really good for oily skin too. You may be oily in general, but if you're a little bit more oily or shiny throughout the day, it may, might mean that you're dehydrated. So hyaluronic acid as a mask in the morning or at night, I prefer morning because you can wear that glow throughout the day. But either or, you can't go wrong. Um, this is a great mask for hydration, which I feel like being in Atlanta and the humidity, I've craving a lot more hydration, more than normal um, throughout my life living in California. Next mask, Ceramides. Ceramides is, well the mask says on the bottom, firming. So that'd be kind of clarifying for you too. Not too hard to remember, but firming as it states on the mask um, means it's firming, it's toning, um, and basically, ceramides are promoting collagen production. So this is great for the more mature skin, um, but also it's really preventative as well. So if you're up there in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, beyond, ceramides are great at promoting collagen production, preventing any um, loss of tone or firmness in your skin, okay? Next mask, this one says Multivita, but it says brightening on the bottom, so pretty clear, yeah. But it has vitamins C, B, um, A in the mask. So vitamins, the B vitamins are typically more nourishing. C, vitamin C is lightening, brightening, and tightening your skin. Um, vitamin A, like in retinol, retinol is a vitamin A derivative, so it's exfoliating. So of course all those things are Exfoliating is a brightening, a way of brightening up your skin, taking off all the all the dead, dry skin off your um, top layer. So it's brightening you up. It's also gonna give you that more woke up like this look. You're gonna look refreshed and more awake and with it um, throughout the day. So that's our brightening mask. Next one, Propolis. Propolis says nutrition right there underneath it. And Propolis is like a win-win for me. Like, Propolis, is made, it comes from bees. It's an ingredient that comes from bees. Um, so it helps with the immune system, helps boost the immune system. So that means it's healing. It's promoting a healing action. It's detoxifying. Um, it's antimicrobial. So putting this on the skin, it's going to help with problematic, problematic skin, blemished skin, minor congestion, some minor maybe um, acne areas as well. Um, maybe not so much like a cystic deeper acne, but just on the surface, pustules and propules is gonna help kind of slough that off and help um, clear it up and heal it up. Um, it's also an antioxidant. So an antioxidant like vitamin C, um, antioxidants are um, help with um, environmental exposure. They help protect your skin against the sun as well. And they really help with um, fighting oxidation. Oxidation is a form of like aging the skin or dying, like when an apple turns brown in the air, that's what happens to our skin when it's not protected. The antioxidant protects that from happening. So this is also anti-aging. So a lot of benefits here, and I think I'm gonna use this one tonight. Sounds like a, a winner. And then we have tea tree, which says relief. Tea tree is not really my favorite ingredient. I don't know, it's like more of an intuitive thing for me, or just because I have I have oily, resilient skin, but it's also kind of sensitive in a way. So tea tree, I don't really care to put it on my face, 
but it does have some great benefits I'm not gonna knock it and I definitely want can't wait to see what this mask does for my skin but um, tea tree is beneficial in that it's an astringent it's antibacterial um, it's got that good tingly feel so it's really feels like it's doing something for you um, it's great for acne skin blemish prone skin as well um, it's gonna feel tingly kind of like peppermint tea um, it's soothing, it's refreshing, and it's calming. So if you're having some issues going on with your skin that's problematic and um, it's not too severe, then try your tea tree oil. Or sorry, not oil, the mask. <laughs> and oil too. Same thing. So there you have it. These are my masks that I just picked up from Lap or just picked up from Anthropology, their lap coats, but you can also get them on Amazon, online, at other places too. I just happened to see them there, and you know, trying more and more things lately, and also sharing it. This is a Korean beauty line, which I love Korean skincare. Um, it's cruelty-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, so um, you're not putting anything too harmful onto your skin. Definitely, you know, it has ingredients on the box, so you wanna read that too. If you're interested and want to know more about what you're putting on your skin, always read your ingredients. And if you have questions, you can always ask. Thanks so much for tuning in and thanks for watching.